Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Buzz About Cricket. My name is Andy Buzzer and today's video is all about rotation of the strike and this drill that I'm about to show you I must use every single week uh, with every uh, type of player whether it be an opening batter, a middle order batter, lower order. Um, I use this for batters versus bowlers. I use this as a competition base. It's something that I absolutely love. And I really feel it is something that every single batter should be doing on a regular basis to hone their skills. If you're new to my channel, please press that like and subscribe button. Let's get going. This drill's aim is to get out of the batter's head that everything has to look really pretty to be successful. The key for batting is scoring runs. The simplistic thing is the best batters in the world score the most runs. So I always ask the question, does it matter what it looks like? The reality is, no. Steve Smith does not care that his back left is all over the, the hockey. At the point of impact, he's exactly where he needs to be and he's more importantly hitting the ball where he wants. The two questions, are you hitting it clean? Are you hitting it where you want? This drill I call the five point drill, but you can call it whatever you want. Five gaps, five areas, anything. The idea is and the concept is getting the batter to look at different areas of scoring off the same ball and off different types of deliveries. The five gaps itself can always change. In this example, we've got two square, one on the offside, one on the leg side. We've got one at extra cover, one at mid wicket, and we've also got one down the ground. I urge you when you're doing this drill, always focus on having a big gap behind the bowler. Again, that's just gonna encourage batters to play down a straighter line. You can get as creative as you want within this drill. The gaps can move, the bowling style can change, you can also say to batters, you can't hit in specific areas, you have to hit in three of the five gaps. Again, you're making the batter think about what they have to do, what shapes they have to create, what techniques they have to discover to hit the ball in a specific area. Let's get out of the, the mentality of, okay, I'm gonna stand here with a nice high elbow and just hit ball after ball after ball, bang, 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 bang. Well, the reality is, have you hit a gap or are you just practicing and honing a skill of hitting a fielder? This takes me on to the next stage of the, of the actual, the drill itself. It's more of the mental attitude. We're focusing on the gap, not the fielder. I remember when I was taught, when I was a young player, to concentrate on the field, to paint that picture, remember where the fielders are. Well, instinctively, when you're batting, you're now gonna encourage yourself to hit those fielders. Let's focus on the gaps. Let's focus on the areas of play. Let's focus on where we're gonna score runs. I love taking this little drill and making it as competitive as possible. So what you're seeing now is myself side-arming and bowling a little bit of spin. Again, be creative. You can set middle overs, death overs, opening overs, and saying you've got to score at a runner ball. You have to score at, you know, seven, eight and over, but you can't rotate the strike until you've hit the gap. Enforce good habits within the batters, and then the reality is they take away from what's looking nice, what's looking pretty, what aesthetically people want to see, and they get into the reality of their batting. Am I hitting that gap? If I'm not, how can I? Like I say, this drill I use on a regular basis and I urge you to use it and try it out and really think to yourself, am I putting myself in the best stead to scoring runs or am I training to look nice? If you've enjoyed that video, please press that like button, please share it, please subscribe. My name's Andy Buzzer, that's Buzz About Cricket. Catch you next time.